This is a tutorial on how you can use the Jira Python library to sign into your Jira Cloud workspace to pull data about your projects and issues out. I'm also going to show you in the second half of the video how you can simplify the sign-on process by using the Coda Jira pack to pull your data out of Jira and to put it into a structured table for charting, reporting, and more visualization for other parties that might care about your uh, product team. So the first step is to create an API token on the Elastian account page. And that's in this link right here. I'm just gonna create a new API token. I'm gonna to call it my cool Jira API token two. Hit create. Copy this token and put it in a notepad or another doc somewhere. I'm gonna put it here for now. And back into the Jira guide, step two is to install the Jira Python library in your terminal. So if I go into my terminal, I'm just gonna write pip pip install Jira. And you're gonna see a bunch of downloading and stuff like that. So now I'm downloading the Python Jira library and now I'm all set. Uh, I'm just gonna log into my Python shell. Three, oops. All right. Now the next few uh, commands you're gonna copy and paste into the Python shell. The first thing I'm going to do is copy this command, which is just importing the Jira library, which I installed previously using the pip command. It's all set. Now I'm going to set this Jira options variable to include the server for my Jira workspace. So the main thing you wanna do is replace this your Jira URL with your server URL. So in this case, my server URL is krypton project and the last line is your Jira, your Lassian email plus your API token, which you created in step one. So let's delete this property here, which is going to be my email. And then this API token, I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to go back to where I pasted the key here in this other doc. I'm going to copy this. And then go back into my terminal. And we're all set. Now let's try to pull some data out of Jira. So a quick one you can try is getting all the projects in your server. So I'm gonna copy and paste this command and let's see what the Python library spits out. It gives you all the keys for all the projects in your workspace. So we know that the Jira library, Python library is working correctly. A little more deeper now, we're gonna to try to get all the issues for a project and the reporter of the issue for a specific project. So let's select this command. Go back into my terminal. Oops, go. Paste this. And I'm going to delete your project name here in this JQL string and replace this with a specific project I care about, which is gonna be called Pet Pulse, just a demo project. Hit enter. And we should see a list of all the issues, of the key and the reporter. So now you can see, you can get all the kind of really rich data from your Jira project. Now I'm gonna show you how you can simplify the sign-on process and also be able to put this data into a Coda table so that you can do really quick reporting and charting without having to pipe this data from your Jira library, your Python shell into another application. So if I go into this Coda doc, I'm going to just start typing slash Jira. I'm gonna to go to packs, add to doc, and in the settings page, you're gonna see I can connect a, connect a new account, sign up with Jira. And you're gonna get this pop-up, which is the um, Atlassian authorization flow to log into your Jira account. All right, now I've got my password set in. I'm logging into my Atlassian Jira account. And you're gonna notice the scope is mostly just viewing some data about your Jira account. I'm gonna choose a site, which is Krypton Project here in this case, hit accept. And I can click on the site to connect. And by default, Coda is going to try to pull some default values, default properties from your Jira issues. So I'm gonna drag and drop this table of issues here. Click, select on Jira account, click on continue setup. And it's gonna find some columns from the Jira pack. These are the default columns I was talking about. I'm just gonna click on create issues table for now. And down here, I'm going to select on the right sidebar, the project name. This will show you all the projects you have, but I'm just gonna pick pick Pet Pulse again as my defaults. I'm gonna allow two-way edits so I can sync data back to Jira. Click on sync now. 
And this table will eventually show you all the Jira issues associated with that Pet Pulse project. And this could be any project in your Jira workspace. And this is the table. I can now hide data that does not matter to me. I don't care about seeing this detailed description. So I can just go down here and actually I'm just do this that way because I can't really see it with my video. Hide that. Maybe I want to hide the issue type, hide the key. And now I can filter, let's say, to only show where the status is to do. And now I see just a filtered list of these issues. I can also turn this into a chart, perhaps. I can go onto chart, click on, oops, let's go back to this chart here. My chart display, maybe I want to show the segment by the status. And I don't want to filter anymore by the status anymore. And now you can see a nice little visualization of all the issues in your, your table. But this is really just a coded table here. If I switch this back to the table, you're still gonna see a table of issues in Jira. And so that's how you can utilize the coded Jira pack to quickly get a set of Jira issues that you can manipulate for more analysis.